Hi everyone, and welcome to our overview of GladNet's solutions for Accident Cloud Storage. We like to summarize the use cases we cover with the BASIC acronym, Backup Access Sync Identity Control. Today we'd like to introduce our two products, Cloud Desktop and Cloud Server, which are used to access the GladNet Cloud, along with GladNet Cloud for Teams, our end-to-end -end solution for accessing and managing cloud storage. Let's start by logging in to our GladNet Cloud account. Here you can see that from the web browser, we are browsing the files and folders that have been populated into our GladNet Cloud account. Now we'll go ahead and download the desktop client and we'll see how that helps us to access and utilize the storage in our GladNet Cloud or Teams account. I will enter the user and password that we received from the email. Okay, now you see we have native access with a drive letter on our desktop to the files in our GladNet Cloud account. And of course, these are the same files that we saw from our web interface. Let's just double check the pictures folder. And you can see the contents are the same. So let's look at our first use case, backup. Here we're doing a mirrored backup, and we're going to back up a folder, my Atmos pictures, and we want to back that up into our Glatic Cloud Storage under the pictures folder. It's going to be an automatic backup. Okay, and now the backup has started. And the initial pass is done. So let's check in the cloud to make sure that was successful. And I was full. And yes, we have our three JPEGs backed up from the pictures slash Atmos folder on our local machine to the cloud. So now let's upload some more pictures to make sure that our backup is automatically monitoring changes to that folder. So we'll move some Azure pictures into our backed up folder. Now we'll come back and check that the monitoring process detected these changes and updated the folder in the cloud. In the meantime, let's continue to look at how the GladNet Cloud Desktop Team Edition client helps us to access cloud storage. Here we're just uploading pictures to our cloud storage account directly. And you can see as soon as we upload these, the changes are reflected from the web interface. Okay, now we're uploading a larger folder. We did the same thing, we just dragged and dropped the folder into our cloud storage drive. And you see all these all these uh, files have been transferred to the cloud. I can tell that based on the little gray icons that you see on the eye. Okay. 
Now our contents match. Okay, and now the background backup to our cloud storage is done. The new files that we copied into the folder should match, and there we see, yes, we've picked up the 0, 2, 3, and 4 that were added after the initial backup of 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so now let's attach a local folder to the Gladnet Cloud as we talk about synchronization between the cloud and local storage. So we're going to attach this demo folder from our local desktop to Gladnet Cloud Storage. Okay, now we see that this demo folder has appeared in the cloud storage. And any contents in that folder would be immediately accessible from any client, regardless of the size of that folder. So there's no waiting on an upload to a complete. Okay, so now we're going to add some more content to that demo folder. So here we are dragging some pictures into the folder on our desktop that is attached to cloud storage. Now let's go back to the web client and we see that immediately we uploaded about two megabytes of data. So the nice thing about attached folders is that the content is immediately accessible regardless of the data size. And here I can see from the Gladnet client, the folders are also immediately accessible. Now I'm going to make a change to my local copy of this file and double check that the change is reflected from the web interface and any other client. See that green overlay on that icon? Okay, now the upload's complete. The green overlay showed that the upload was proceeding. We can also change the look of the icons and you know, get a more clear picture of what the current overlay looks like. So all these files have been copied to the cloud, which is what that little gray icon means. Okay, and there we see that the change we made has been reflected in the attached folder. It's reflected when we open from the web interface. So we have a two-way sync going on between the cloud and the local copy of its attached folder. So we cover backup, access, synchronization, also sharing. Now let's cover these same use cases for our server product, Gladnet Cloud Server. Let's go ahead and download the product. Now I've picked a 32-bit installation since my server is a 32-bit server. Okay. Read the EULA carefully. And our installation is complete. The cloud server does require a server reboot. Okay. My virtual machine is ready. By the way, this is a Windows 2008 server. And let's connect this cloud server to the same account. And we see that immediately the cloud server can see the same folders and files that are in our Gladnet Cloud account. If we look at that pictures folder where we had our backup, we can now share that folder with other users by publishing the picture folder. So let's go ahead and publish that. We're going to assign permissions to the administrator. Okay, so our administrator has full control of this file.
now we'll move to a client and we will map a share that's connected to the published folder from the cloud server. Okay, now we see our mapped share is looking at the pictures folder where we backed up our Atmos and Azure pictures. And there we see the backup that occurred a few minutes ago. We can also perform a backup from this cloud server. And we can attach a local folder from this cloud server, much as we did the same from the Gladnet Cloud Desktop communication client. And there we have the demo2 folder that we attach from the cloud server, immediately visible from the web interface. Now let's talk a little bit about identity and control. So here you see our user manager, we can add a new user. Once you add this user, you can decide how much storage this user will be allowed to use from the cloud. Okay, now John Doe will receive an email advising him of his username and password to connect to our Glad Cloud account. Let's publish another folder. We can publish any folder, the demo2 folder, which is attached to a cloud server, or a folder from the cloud, like this documents folder. So here we're going to publish the pictures folder yet again. We'll publish this to all users. Let's publish another folder. This time we'll publish the demo2 folder, which was attached from the cloud server client. Okay. Now logging in from this user, we'll see that there are two published folders available. There we can access the demo2.txt from the published folder, demo2 from server, and there we can access the pictures. So the files and folders we can access are were controlled by the administrator who published those folders to us. Let's reconnect to the cloud server. And now we're going to create a new file from the published share. And as you can see from the text, we expect to see these changes in the team folder that corresponds with this published share. Sure enough, there it is. So we've covered these basic use cases on Glanet Cloud Desktop, Glanet Cloud Server, when used with our Glanet Cloud 14.